Welcome to the channel, my name's Jamison, and in today's Subnautica Guide, we're going to be venturing out into the Grand Reef to get our hands on the Cyclops Creature Decoy Tube Upgrades Data Box. Let's get on with the video. Okay guys, if you're new around here, we're going to get in our Seamoth and start off at our zero point. If you don't know what zero point is, or you're new to the channel, Link in the right hand corner to a dodgily done video. Once at our zero point, we're going to head almost directly southwest and go out for several hundred meters. And by several hundred, I mean about 1800. You shouldn't encounter anything dangerous along the way if you're hugging the surface, but you will encounter warpers crab squids and other hostile flora once you get into the Grand Reef and because of its depth it's advised you take a sea moth with a depth module at the highest degree and because there are bases and other wrecks in the area take all your scanning gear along with some decent rebreathers and oxygen tanks if you have them available but apart from that guys it is just smooth sailing in a straight line Go past their friendly neighbourhood stalkers. Like I said, hug the hug the highest point of the ocean if you don't want to deal with any potential threats. Once past the kelp forest, we're going to pop over this ridge. And slowly begin a descent as we hug this underwater cliff. Now this data box is located within a wreck, well not within a wreck, amongst wreckage debris next to the rear end of the ship I'm guessing. So if you want to explore it, there's plenty of stuff to explore. But we're going just for the data box which is located outside amongst the rubble. As you can see we are near in the right area because the blue balls have appeared. And this is the point where we begin our descent. And once at about 330 meters, we just go straight towards southwest, or in my case, a beacon. Again, if you're on PC, those are the coordinates and brackets, so you can just warp there and place a beacon and warp back. As you can see, we have slowly been creeping down. But once we're in this crevice, we'll come around and we'll begin to see our wreck. There should be a warper in the area, so keep an eye out for him. But what we're gonna But whilst looking for our warper, we're gonna wanna head straight down to this little gorge here. And buried amongst the reeds and a bit of cargo wreckage is our data box. Decreased. And that right there is how you get the Cyclops decoy tube upgrade. And there's some prawn arms if you want them. But that's it for this guide guys. If you liked it, like it. If you didn't like it, dislike it. If you'd like to leave some feedback on this video, a suggestion for a future one, or you just want to say g'day, please drop me a comment down below. And if you really want to help me out, please hit that subscribe button. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now.